Hello, my name is Pete McCallan and I'm a songwriter and a worship leader. I've recently released an album called I Hear Your Voice and I also work as the worship pastor at C3 in Cambridge, UK. And I've been working for the church as a worship pastor for five years now. And recently a friend of mine got in touch with me and challenged me to start vlogging about some of the things that have really helped me as a worship leader and as a songwriter. So here we are today doing my first ever vlog and I'm out of my comfort zone, but hey, I like a challenge, so here we go. Today I'd really like to talk about one of the character qualities that I look for in worship leaders, and that is humility. There's a verse in 1 Peter 5 verse 6 which talks about humbling ourselves before the mighty hand of God, and that in due time He will lift us up. And this has kind of been one of those life verses for me that I've gone back to time and time again because it's so key for what I do and how I walk through life. And I remember a time um, several years ago when I was part of a very small church, maybe 15 people, and I was part of the, the team there leading worship. We were a church plant and there had been some complaints about the style of worship that I'd been leading. And so the pastor of the church sat me down. I'd been leading there maybe for a, nine months to a year at that point. He sat me down and he said, look, I don't want you to lead worship anymore. I want you to give it up for six months. And I was absolutely devastated, particularly because I was the worship team. There was no one else, no other musicians around to take my place. So we literally just cut all singing worship, song worship. And um, I was devastated. But it taught me a lesson and it taught me that I can either humble myself or I can be humbled. And so ever since then, I've really tried to have the heart of humility when it comes to what I do, particularly when it comes to worship leading, and to honour God and to put Him first and to really make sure that I'm not doing things for my own benefit, for my own success, for my own fame. And I truly believe that when we humble ourselves before God, He does make a way to lift us up. Um, recently, I was watching a, a video with Mike Pivolacci being interviewed and he talked about worship leaders being like a donkey and he shared the story of Jesus when he came into Jerusalem and, and the crowd was singing his praises and they, they took their cloaks off and they laid them on the ground in a, in a way of honouring Jesus and they laid down the branches from the trees and they sang songs of praise to him and the donkey, his main role was not to get the fame or the praise, he was simply there to elevate Jesus. And in the same way, I believe that worship leaders, our call is to elevate Jesus, to carry Jesus. And then when his presence is felt by people, to back off and to let him get the glory. Um, John the Baptist puts this so well when he talks about, he must increase and I must decrease. And so when I look for worship leaders on our team or, or new team members, and we've got a team of say 40 people, um, I'm looking for this humility. Our, people coming in for their own fame or are they looking to glorify God through their gifts and there is a, a distinct difference and you can kind of pick it up when people talk to you about what they're really after and so I'd encourage you if you're a young budding worship leader and you're, you're looking to kind of develop your gift keep humble humble yourself look for ways that you can serve others look for ways where you can serve behind the scenes that no one may even notice but you know and it's it's your heart before God and um. It's amazing how God will find a way to elevate you in the right time and in the right place. So don't look to promote yourself, but look to honour others, to love others, and to, most importantly, honour God. That's all I've got time for today, um, but if you would like me to maybe talk about something else to do with worship leading or songwriting, then leave a comment in the box below, and I will see you very soon.